A little over 12 minutes later, Mamadou Kinsai sends in a free kick, which is headed in by Marquez Fernandez. That put the Retrievers up 2-0. Discontent at the moment, UBC to, to keep the ball and really they're not going to do anything more than that. Mark, the onus is really on Vermont to, to come out and uh, assuming they want to try and get something from the game, you know, find some offense. We haven't seen too much really so far. Still gonna play through the middle. He's too new. Right, trying to get around, around Fernandez. And Fernandez is having none of it as he's able to clear the ball out. And with that whatsoever, in a, in a really, really strong position here. You see, definitely seems to have great composure at the moment. Just yeah, seen a level of intensity so far from from White and Yellow. Just really haven't competed with. And here comes Brian Wright. Very dangerous, tries the back heel and can't quite find his teammate. Great through ball here from Vermont. Cleared out by Fernandez. At that point, just over eight minutes later, Caltabiano's serve is headed off the post by Omar Ballo, but then Marquez Fernandez. Thank you. Can I have the lead on here? Yeah. Seconds in the half, nine. Got it. 
<laughs> this is Senior forward from Somerville, Massachusetts. So those are your starters for the Riverhawks. UMass, a little coached by Christian Figueroa in his fifth season assistant. Uh, the chaps from up in, uh, in Boston will be used to a bit of chilliness, won't they? Oh, yeah, it's got to be even. Uh, you know, do really, really well again in this conference. Obviously, been dominant the last, well, really three, four, five years. And we're hoping to do the same again for sure. Banjo couldn't keep that ball. It had a little too much velocity on it. Marquez will play it up towards Coltabiano. Gaetan, medium. Well defended. Really well done. Marquez looked like he kicked it off Riverhawk. And he'll play it all the way back to Hevener. Really extraordinary pace, Marquez Fernandez. I know we've said it a couple of times over and over again, frankly. Uh, it still astonishes me every year. You see whether they can bounce back here. Yeah, you mentioned it's really been the two corner kicks, and then the one goal comes off a penalty kick. So not much for UMass Lowell other than that. Yeah, you Conference game of the year. As uh, Martin plays this ball up, and it's... That's a Control large parts of the games and, 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 and stretch them. Um, but again, with a young group, they've got to understand that you know it takes more. You know, uh, we can't get one up on a corner kick. Um, but you know, again, overall, from a performance standpoint, I thought it was a pretty good performance.